All right, so this is more IPv6 tunneling. Um, there's some restrictions and requirements on the screen. Uh, essentially, we need to, be able to, need to be able to ping R2's 2002 A0A A02 colon colon one dot two address and R3's 2002 A0A A03 colon colon one dot colon three address. Sourcing from R1's loopback zero. So this is uh, six to four tunneling. So after the first 16 bits of our address, the next 32 bits are our embedded IPv4 address for the tunnel source of each router, which will give you a little bit of a hint as to what's wrong. So if we take a look at the current configuration on our tunnel interface, you'll see that we are set to 2002, a01 101 colon dot one on R1 and 2002 A02 202 colon colon two. So 2002 A02 202 is the uh, hexadecimal equivalent of 10.2.2.2 and tunnels are set to loop back zero. But if we need to be able to ping 2002 A0A A02 that uh, translates to 10.10.10.2, which is our loopback one address. So what we're going to do on each router is we're going to change our tunnel source to loopback one, and we're going to change our IPv6 address. to match um, the embedded version of 10.10.10.2. I'm going to do a colon one after that, so it's on a different subnet than a loopback one, or loopback zero rather. I'll do that on R3 also. Set tunnel source to loop back one. And the IPv6 address of 2002 A0A A03 for 10.10.10.3 colon one, so it's on a different subnet than its loopback zero IPv6 address. And on R1, we'll do the same thing. Here's 2002, A0A, A01, colon one, colon, colon, one slash 64. And change our tunnel source to loop back one. And our ping should work now. Oops, also helps if you ping the right address. And for three, there you go. And uh, I'm going to do another video to do a quick follow-up of how we can do IPv6 routing with the tunnel interface at 6 to 4 without this static route. Because there actually is a way to do it, and I was toying around with it tonight to see how well it worked. And uh, I'll do that in the next video.